Lesson 11.2d, Using Addition to Solve Equations, Inverse Operations. We've learned that we can solve addition equations by using the inverse operation, subtraction. We can also solve subtraction equations by using addition. This is the addition property of equality. We can add the same number to both sides of an equation and the two sides will remain equal. We have some number x minus 37 is equal to 12. Well, we know we can add 37 and 12 together to find out what this is. But for the addition property of equality, we add 37 to each side of the equation. We have a minus 37 here, so we do a plus 37. That's going to create a zero pair and eliminate the minus 37 from the equation. We add the 37 to the other side of the equal sign, and we get a 49. We know that x is equal to 49. It's telling us to solve the equation and graph the solution on a number line. We have some number m minus 25 hundredths is equal to 3 and 50 hundredths. We add 25 hundredths to both sides of the equation, and that is going to create a zero pair here and eliminate it. And when we add 25 hundredths to this side of the equal sign, we get 3 and 75 hundredths. We know that m is equal to 3 and 75 hundredths. We can write the question mark over the equal sign, showing that we're not sure if the answer is true, and we do the subtraction and see it is equal to 3 and 50 hundredths, so we know m is equal to 3 and 75 hundredths. We need to graph the solution on a number line. This is the solution, so we graph 3 and 75 hundredths on a number line. So the solution is the value for m, and notice that we only draw the needed portion of the number line. We have a couple of marks before it and a couple after it, and we plot 3 and 75 hundredths on the number line. We use an inverse operation to isolate the variable to one side of the equation to solve. If the equation evol involves addition, we use subtraction to create a zero pair. We have a plus 5 eighths is equal to 7 eighths, so because that's a plus, we're going to subtract 5 eighths from both sides. Create a zero pair that we can eliminate. We subtract 5 eighths from 7 eighths and get 2 eighths. We know a is equal to 2 eighths. And we can simplify that to 1 fourth, can't we? Here we have a subtraction equation. We're going to use addition to solve it. We have a minus 40. We're going to put a plus 40 on both sides of the equal sign. That is going to eliminate this minus 40. And when we add 40 to this side, we get 60. We know y is equal to 60. Again, it's telling us to solve the equation and graph the solution on a number line. We have x minus 1 half is equal to 1 and 1 6. You remember subtracting fractions or even adding fractions? They need to have a common denominator. So before we can subtract, we need to give them a common denominator. And 2 and 6 can meet at 6. 1 half is equal to 3 6. So now we have x minus 3 6 is equal to 1 and 1 6. We can add 3 6 to both sides of the equation because we see the minus here. We're going to do the inverse operation, which would be adding. That is going to eliminate the minus 3 6 from the equation. We're going to add 3 6 to this side. We get 1 and 4 6. x is equal to 1 and 4 6. And we can plot that and graph it on a number line. And again, we have a few marks before it and a few marks after it, or a couple marks after it, so that it's not right on the edge of the number line. And we can actually simplify this to 1 and 2 thirds, couldn't we? And then we could have graphed it as 1 and 2 thirds. I'm going to stretch your brain a little bit on this one. Here we have b raised to the second power minus 2 is equal to 23. We want to eliminate the minus 2 to get the variable by itself, so we add 2. We have a minus here. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to add. This creates a zero pair. We eliminate it from the equation. We add 2 to this side and get a 25. Now we have b raised to the second power is equal to 25. And we think some number multiplied by itself is equal to 25. And we think what factors could be b? 
could be 5 times 5, so b is equal to 5. We finished this part of the lesson. We're going to move on to 11.2e, solving equations that represent geometric concepts. So just remember, inverse means exact opposite. If it's an addition equation, use subtraction. If it's a subtraction equation, use addition. I hope you have a really nice day, and I hope you join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.